Paul and Dick, Dick and Paul. Okay. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Two Drink Minimum Podcast. My name is Alex. And I'm Deej. How are you doing today, Deej? I'm awesome, actually, Alex. That's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing fairly well, if I might say so myself. You know, every time somebody say that, I always think about um, Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Yeah. Why? You got to... Because he'd be like, if I do say so, if I do not, oh, uh, whatever the word yeah. is. I, I was thinking about the fairly well part. Oh, okay. So let's get into it. What are we talking about today? You want to start it off? No. Okay. Do I ever? No. Well, I always do the intro. You always exactly. talk first. No, I don't. Do I really? Mm-hmm. Anyway, go ahead, Alex. Oh, let's see. Do you feel men are replacing the word female with the word bitch? You mean like, how are you saying that? Like, like, like when they deal with somebody, like, oh, that's my bitch, or like, that's a little, I don't like, know. Like, um, I guess if it was like, uh, I was talking about somebody and I just said this female, like I said female instead of actually saying bitch, where you would normally say bitch. Like if I was mad talking about somebody, you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like I, it's like yeah, it's like you yeah, don't want like, to call me a bitch, but you want to call me a bitch. Yeah, it's like instead of saying this yes. bitch over there or this female over here. Yes, that that is replacing it. The fuck, call some this female. Say what you got to say, little ass nigga. But I mean, it's better than actually calling you a bitch. No, because I know what you want to say. Okay, but I'm not saying it though. But I know what you want to say. It's the fact that I know what you're going to say, well, what you want to say, but you're not going to say. It. Might as well just say it. Because if I want to call you a bitch, I'm gonna call you a bitch. And see, that's, that, that's not fair. Because if y'all can call us all type of shit out our names, I feel like we can call y'all. Some shit too, cause we. That's all we can do. We all, all we can do is call you names. We can't hit you. I mean, call me as many names as you want. It don't, I mean, personally, it don't bother me, mm-hmm. unless it's like, like if we just like in the middle of like a little fuss. What? All right, cool. You want to be angry? Be angry. Mm-hmm. You gonna say some things? You you fucking bitch. Well, I'll be that then, motherfucker. Be mad. So but, okay, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. But don't just be like, I I don't know. Just don't. Mm-mm. Okay, go on. It's mom. levels to the level of bitch you can call me. Okay, going along with what you just said, do you feel like people say stuff out of anger that they really don't mean? Of course. Really? Yeah. I feel the opposite, the complete opposite. You feel like they mean it? Yeah. Well, me anyway, I know I mean it. Because you're mean. Not really, but it's like if I'm going to say something... If I'm gonna say something when I'm angry that I wouldn't say when I'm not angry, it just that just means I was sitting on it and I wasn't saying it because before I was angry, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But now that I'm angry, we arguing, you done piss me off. Now I don't give a fuck about your feelings, so I'm gonna say whatever I've been sitting on. But why sit on like no? Mm-mm. I mean, it ain't got to It ain't got to be nothing big. It could just be like small, something small that's like been bugging me or something like that. And it's like I just maybe hadn't addressed it yet, but it's like since I'm mad. Then yeah, I'm gonna say what the fuck I'm saying. I feel say. like you shouldn't wait till you mad to run to address it because once you mad trying to address it, it ain't gonna be addressed properly. Mm, that's because we're both enraged, we're both angry. It's not gonna be addressed correctly. That's true, but that's just how I am. <laughs> Toxic, I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm currently in the business of removing toxic people. Well, I can't get rid of you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I ain't that bad, am I? I mean, not to me, you're not Oh, really I was bad, about to say, I hope I ain't that bad. To the bitches. Oh, damn. I ain't shit. <laughs> but <laughs> To the females, she meant. You ain't shit to them, but... <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Do you have... Wait, what is that? Do you have hoes because you're single? Are you single because you have hoes? <laughs> so, let's get to my lifestyle. Um, I have hoes because I'm single. Really? <laughs> you don't think you don't think they can go hand in I hand? I feel like you try to nudge into my life. No, I'm just asking. It ain't got to be nothing personal. I'm just asking. You don't think both two things can be true? <laughs> you thinking I mean, mighty hard over there I am thinking like Cause it's like 
I don't have hoes because I got a girl. I got a man, but I don't have a girlfriend because I have hoes. Like you single either way. No, you're not single either way. But personally, I don't have. I'm single, so I have hoes. That's the best way to put it. Like, you're single because you have hoes. Yeah. Okay. I'm single, so I got hoes. I think I have hoes, and that's why I'm <laughs> single. But Say I really ain't got no hoes. I said, I think I have hoes, and that's why I'm single. Don't be out here lying. But I really don't have hoes. Shut up. I don't. Look, these niggas don't be fucking with me, though. Because <laughs> you mean to them. I'm not mean. I just They need to tell you, talk to me nice, but don't talk to me no, at all. <laughs> I, I, I'm not mean. It's just... I'm not putting out with I'm not putting out with unnecessary shit. Sometimes you gotta put up with unnecessary shit. No, you don't. That's why you be bitching because you ain't getting no ass. No, you ain't got to tell everybody. <laughs> I'm in the goddamn desert right now. Sometimes I be forgetting that it's not just me you talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, other people gonna hear this shit. God damn. Well, somebody give Alex some ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving right along. <laughs> But no, for real. I ain't even had two drinks yet. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, that was your topic. Go ahead. When the main nigga act like a side nigga. What you mean by that? Are you, I said, in my, I feel like when the main nigga act like a side nigga, you really the side chick. So, okay, first of all, how do you expect your side nigga to act? The side nigga is a nigga who can't say nothing. Second natural. of all, you self snitching because you got side niggas. <laughs> I am a faithful black man. I guess you have I to put not, me out there too. I do not condone <laughs> side bitchetry. Side bitchetry. <laughs> I do not condone side bitchetry. I guess you feel like you had to put me out there. <laughs> we'll go, no, go ahead. I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> it's the, uh, it was uh, what makes. Oh, the side, nigga, side nigga. A side nigga, he don't have the right to say nothing. He yes. just come over, deliver some dick, send some, get some money, bring some food, and he out. He don't want to be known. He don't want to be seen. Nothing. Mm, so you know how to play his role and keep his mouth shut, basically. Exactly. Okay. But your main nigga not supposed to be acting like that. The main nigga is the one that the world sees. Mm-hmm. Not the one that say be quiet when you on FaceTime. So the side nigga got to be quiet when you're on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Can't nobody know that you're here. Mm-mm. I'm that nigga. <laughs> I, like uh, Carlos Miller said, I'm so good of a side nigga that I get quiet when anybody's phone rings. <laughs> 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 so what? The main niggas should not be like, if you on the phone. Like you oh, you said when the main nigga act like a side nigga. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you when a side nigga side act like a main chick. nigga. No. So okay, how does a side? I mean, how does a main nigga act like a side? Main nigga, nigga act like a side nigga. He don't want to be seen. He don't want nobody to know. He he got that. He played that line. I don't like people in my business. I mean, that's true. Nah. Though. Nah. You can't even tell the world that you fuck with somebody. I mean, it just. It, it, it really just depends on the type of person he is. No, because are, really are you basing shit. are you basing that off of how he is personally or how just men on? I'm sorry, I'm guessing you are talking about like social media and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So or even you, like to like per, like personally, like not even just social media, like to the friends and shit. So are you basing it off of how you know him to act, or are you just basing it off of how, I know him to act. how everybody or how the most of men on social media act? As far as well, posting the girls and stuff, I I disagree with that because it's like I'm not even the type to post a lot of pictures of most of what I do, like a, a whole well, you lot know, of your pictures. Your social media is boring. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get more active, <laughs> but like I said, I don't post it as far as like going out and stuff like that. I save stuff in my phone. I don't really post everything, or if I do, I might post it on my story, and then it's. Gone in what twenty four hours. But I feel like when you fucking with somebody, definitely you fuck with them heavy. It should be known what goes on between y'all does not need to be known. But it should be known that yeah, you fuck with somebody. I I guess I get what you're saying, but still, like I said, if not, it just got, depends on the, and you decide, chick. That's not really true, because like it just depends on the type of nigga that he is. Because if he's not somebody, just show the world 
what he got going on. I want to tell the world about you just so they can get jealous. Sorry. You remember that song? Mm mm. What song is that? Okay, now I ain't, I ain't I remember the artist. Oh, I just remember the song. No, I know. You know maybe I'm not heard, good with rappers. Maybe if I heard more of it. But yeah, I feel like it just depends on the type of nigga he is in general. But if it's if it's like he the type that posts everything else and then he just not posting you, then you the side I can chick. See, you not, not not necessarily the side chick, but maybe that would go into him like trying to hide you or something. Exactly. Maybe. What you need to hide her for? Uh. Cause she's a side chick, trapped in a closet, don't be seen. I mean, it could also <laughs> just be. He wants the opportunity for somebody else. He could not be fucking with anybody else, but just not want everybody to know he's fucking with you. Like, you could be the main and the only one, but he could be wanting to leave that door open for others. You get what I'm saying? For what? I don't know. I told you, I'm a faithful black man. Black men don't cheat anyway. So you must be fucking with talking about a white boy or something. Please do not, (laughs) does not date white men. Okay. I uh, tried it before, but did I tell you about that? No, you didn't. Epic fail. <laughs> anyway, next topic, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, Alex. It is. Should smashing on a first date be acceptable? No, we grown. You don't think it's acceptable? You said. Is smashing on a first date acceptable? Yeah, that's why I said, yeah, we grown. If you want to give me some ass on the first night, I, I ain't complaining. Like it's acceptable if I initiate it. Because <laughs> I won't feel like a hoe. <laughs> like, if I initiate, like, so. So you wouldn't want him to shoot the shot for it? Not first time. Why, though? That's a double Does that standard. Does that feel like a hoe? Why are you going to feel like a hoe? If I'm giving hoe? up on the first night, like, damn, I'm a whole hoe out here in the streets. But if I you gonna feel like a hoe because of what you think, or you gonna feel like a hoe because of, you, of what you think he might think? That yeah, second one. You, what he might think? Yeah. See like, me, I'm see not. Like yo, she let me hit the first day. Like damn, I'm not that type of nigga. Cause you give me some ass on the first night, my mind don't go to oh she must fuck every nigga on the first night. My mind go to I'm that nigga. So she <laughs> had to give. She felt like she had to give me something on the first night. I'm patting myself on the back like, huh? Yeah, fuck you, bitch, on the first date? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna say, I know I told you. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, that ain't the only time. But that's I mean, it happens. Yeah. I did that with um, the dog guy. Okay. And like... I had to think for a minute because you called him something else last time. I don't remember what the name was last time. I don't either. The dog got to click some in your with mind. Some with a train or not a train. Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> like, mm. anyway. But yeah, I mean, it happens. Like I said, like, we. It de- it just depends on, I guess, it, if you go on a based off of that. But it, what it the guy thinks. If it's not planned, I feel like then, all right, cool. But if I feel like if the man initiated, it's just like, uh, like I'm gonna sit down and think about. It. I'm gonna I'm a bullshit like uh, mm-hmm. I ain't feeling it. But so I does it does it, it with that in mind? Does it make a difference where y'all are versus like being at his house or being here? Okay, so what? My house on weekend down dirty. Oh, so it's, you feel like <laughs> it's more acceptable if you're at your house? Yeah. But it's not if you're at his definitely. House. Well, it, I think it makes a difference if she lives alone. Mm. Cause I don't gotta do the walk of shame. Okay, like we're okay. Yeah, I got you. But but my house, see ya. <laughs> okay. Nobody listen to me. Okay, I get you. But yeah, I just feel like we grown. So hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but ain't gonna be safe the first sex or last is makes best sex. Unless yeah, you right. That I'm late text. Okay, Lil Wayne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, can a relationship? Be successful if it starts as friends with benefits. I kind of feel like we talked about this, but we can talk about it briefly. Can a relationship be successful if it starts off as friends with benefits? No. You don't think so? No. Why not? Because that's going to be the main focus. What, sex? What's wrong with that, though? Because I don't want a relationship, but the only thing we have fun with it doing each other is each other. 
I mean, it can start with that, and then it can grow into. Very rarely that it happens like that. Trust me, I know. Remember my last situation? Mm-hmm. It started off as just friends and benefits, and then it's like the emotions started growing and shit. But only time we really had fun together It's like if we went out and stuff. But the most fun we had together was in the bed, right. with the buns. The only time. But I mean, y'all didn't go. I mean, what did y'all do when y'all went out though? Something he liked to do. It was never like that. that I like to do. See, I hate that shit. If we going out all like, the time, like I'm like, oh, let's do this. He'd be like, no. But if, I, if I say let's go to the movies, he's like, oh, let's go to the movies. That's what he likes to do. Mm-hmm. But it would never be like, oh, let's go. Like I like to go hiking sometimes. He'd be like, let's go. If I say go, let's go hiking. He's like, I don't want to go hiking. Yeah, I hate that shit. When you with somebody that don't want to compromise. Mm-hmm. That shit kills. That shit kills a relationship. Because it's like if we always if. Yeah, because I just feel like I always got to please you all the time and do yeah. what you want to do. It's like, why the fuck am I even here? And the only time it was about me was if we were just having sex. I mean, I feel like it could be. Why? It's just, huh? Why? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying I feel like it could work because y'all, like I said, y'all, had, y'all would start with that and that would be like the main thing up front. But I feel like you could develop it into other things. Like, you, but you just have to get to know each other on a different level. Cause it's like if y'all just fucking, and that's all y'all know about each other. But it's like after y'all do that, y'all gotta talk about like what more, like what what's your other interests. Some people like you can have sex with them, and that's the only like entertainment you get of them. Like conversation is not there or nothing. Yeah. Like conversation can be dull as shit, but sexually. <laughs> Bust some buns. Cause my fucks ain't whole conversation for a damn. What the damn? Like damn? Do you talk? Hello. <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> like, is. I be knocking on a nigga like, are you there? Yeah, that that is terrible. But yeah, I feel like it could. Drug dick ain't good dick. Whoever told y'all bitches that Percocet dick is good dick? Y'all lied to me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Got me trying niggas in Percocet. Hell no. Well, I I never tried a Percocet before, but I heard, I heard it it does help. Deej is scared of all drugs. <laughs> Period. Yeah, only thing I ever tried was Tylenol. Xanax, and that shit just put me to sleep. I'm scared of that shit too. Well, I took when I did it was this was a while ago because it was before it was like everybody for all the rappers and shit was doing it. It was just. I don't see the point of drugs. Like, what are you doing it for? It's an it experience. didn't get mad. Somebody call you a crackhead. I mean, it's just an experience, really. Hip hop. What's that song? Hip hop. <laughs> Run up. Hip hop. <laughs> see, they're getting off hip hoppers. <laughs> That's a black youngster. Rapper. Bitch, on. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, bitch, on text because I can't spell anything I want to say. Oh, nigga. That's horrible. But, but yeah, no, I, I, don't, I, can't, mm-hmm. I can't speak for uh, Percocet. But even, you know, I'm sorry to notice that weed is an issue, too. You said weed is an issue? Mm-hmm. As, as far as bad, you had bad sex with weed? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Homie went limp. Oh, no. Like, it was like, hello, goodbye. Hello, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That shit was doing a wave, like, hello, goodbye. That is hilarious. Horrible. (laughs) I when I when I was smoking, I never had a problem. It's better to me, it's better. Because it it enhances when the dog guy was high, Mm. my soul was with Jesus. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Like it it enhances it when you smoke. It enhances like something is in the the weed nowadays, okay? Oh, you probably got some other shit. That, yeah, that too. You got to be careful where you get your shit from. But yeah, when when I was doing it, it was like, like I said, it enhances your sense of touch, so it makes everything better. I feel like that's my only experience with it. Did it I ever tell you a story about when I first time ever smoked? I think you did. Oh, I'm not going to say it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you told me. <laughs> I'll give a brief story because I already brought it up on here. That was the worst thing in the world. I felt like I took a volume. I was just like, 
floating. Mm. And then I didn't want to do it with a blunt because I felt like that was gross. Mm. So we used the bong. He taught me how to do a bong. Oh, that's worse. And we that's was outside. Worse. For your, like, sm- your first time smoking, that's worse because you yeah. get a whole lot and more smoke. And let me smoke. tell you some funny shit. We was outside and I'm like, babe, it's getting dark. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, you was big tripping. <laughs> Carry me in the house to go to sleep. I couldn't walk. Oh yeah, you my was, legs were buckling like I was drunk. You you big tripping. Yes, I was like, yeah, weed is not for me. But honey, I can get drunk as shit with you any day. No, nah, yeah, it's not for everybody. You gotta know, you gotta know what your your vices. But yeah, I've never had a bad experience with weed. What do you think about females that smoke heavy? I can't say it. I hate that shit. Well, I ain't gonna say I. To, an, to a certain point, like, if you wake up, smoke, if you're the type to wake up smoking, or really, if you in the mindset that's like, I got to smoke to do this and do that, I can't stand that shit. Yeah, I don't like that. And smoking, I mean, just cigarettes. I, I know you probably talking about weed, but cigarettes I can't do at all. I don't like being around people who smoke all day. Like, I can I can take it if you smoke, like, you know, like, you know, after work or mm. You yeah, something like that. But, but like I said, first you, thing in the morning, as you said, like all day you can't do nothing unless can't, you high. Yeah, like, I can't. Oh, do I can't. That. Oh, let's, go out, let's go out to eat. Let me smoke first. Damn. That, I mean, how you got an appetite? And that's people in general, because I know a bunch of niggas is like that. Like I can't eat unless I smoke. I can't go to sleep unless I smoke. I'm like nigga, that's that's and a honestly, problem. Like for female, like I'm big into like cosmetic shit and like you know skincare and stuff. Mm. Being a female, your lips being black, that's nasty. Yes. That's not cute at all. Even I, I also I even hate when I see guys with black lips. Mm. And you can tell they smoke is only like around here, mm. like around like the center part of the lips. I'm like, ew. I mean, I don't, and I won't even let a nigga that smokes touch me. Like they got some weed breath on him. Mm. Don't How try to tell, my cooter. You tell me about that. I didn't tell you about uh-huh. that. <laughs> <laughs> Say you made him go uh, wash his mouth out. Yes, that's hilarious. Same thing with the dog guy. He would never come near me if he just smoked. He would go mm. brush his teeth because he knew how to kiss me. Wait, wait, bye. Oh yeah, kiss my you. hoop. <laughs> she don't want to kiss you either. But yeah, I just the just the all day shit is like a turn off for me. Like I can, I can, I can do without that. Okay, um, let's see. Besides cheating or abuse, what is the last straw in a relationship for you? Hmm. Lying. Lying. Cause then I can't trust you. That's a fact. Yeah, I agree. Once you lie to me, I'm like now I'm questioning what are you what, what else are you lying about? Well, damn, you lied about that too. Well, damn, you lied again. Like, damn, can you tell me the truth for once? Yeah, you don't know when. Yeah, you don't know when you can start back trusting them again. I agree. Um, let me see. Just for the sake, for the sake of it. Um, for me, it would probably be if we can't. I feel like if we can't talk things out, like if we, all we do is argue and we can't, yeah, bad communication. If we can't communicate about things and nah, it's, I can't do it. Cause it's like, I'm not for the arguing shit all the time Mm -hmm. at all. But definitely if it's every conversation got to be argument, um, nah. This is a pointless conversation, but, um, you can't sit down and have a conversation you want to argue and yell at me? You know what? I would kindly grab my pocketbook and do it with the bougie bitch arm, <laughs> and I will leave. That's how I call it, the bougie bitch arm. And then too, if we have a, if we do have an argument, we come, we start to lead way to a, to a solution, and then you want to go back to the beginning of the mm-hmm. argument. Oh, I hate that shit. I will get the fuck. I will leave before I sit and deal with this shit. Uh, okay, let's see. Um. The popular opinion. You don't get on Twitter, do you? I've been looking at Twitter lately. You pretty wild. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I've been looking at Twitter and I'm like. Anyway, have you is seen this the? Guy that I know. <laughs> have you seen the uh, the po- the unpopular opinions? Some okay. of them I've seen. A few of them, but I see them mostly on Facebook. Okay, so what did you say? Social media. The unpopular opinions on social media. Do you feel like they're actually unpopular opinions? A lot of them are popular opinions. Like, very few of them are unpopular. But it was one that was about a uh, homegirl that got, like, doped up. 
and it was just like everybody uh downed her but they always telling everybody else to like oh it'll get better blase blase i forgot who the fuck it was but yeah, some of them are very popular opinions yeah some but of them i'll be like what the fuck that is not a popular opinion no it the, unpopular the ta- yeah i was gonna say the tag is unpopular yeah, opinion. unpopular yeah um what's something that you truly consider an unpopular opinion I don't know off the top of my head. What do you think? I have about? nothing. No. Mine would be like the whole concept of black people need to go back to Africa to visit their homeland. Yeah, I, I don't like I don't, that. I don't, yeah, I, I, I think don't really care cool, for that. I think it would be cool, like, you know, just to, like, have the experience. Yeah. But not for, like, a life thing. like. No. Yeah, it's not, like, something I feel like I got to do before I... Before I die or something Like it's not on my bucket list Like if I go I go But if I don't I'm What's cool What's on your bucket list? Mm-hmm. To live Well First My first one that I want to do is Go to Hawaii You gonna go to Hawaii with me? Yeah that'd be the first one The second one Okay ignore be, my question Huh? You said what I? Yeah we could plan a trip but um, let's see, Hawaii, and then the next one will be a cruise. This is, I mean, this is just I'm doing right now, just stuff that I plan on doing in the near future. So Hawaii, a cruise. Um, then after that, a train. I want to ride a train. Pause. You ride a train. <laughs> Super pause. <laughs> but yeah, I want to. I want to ride a train. Pause again. <laughs> Cause that could have been wild, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's right now. That's you know, at the, the top the three. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, but as far as like, as far as like going out of the country and stuff like that, I ain't never really. I mean, it would be cool, but it's again, I go to it's Africa not. so I could ride the African elephants. Really, they yeah, got I love that elephants um, in it's, Thailand and on that. Why it's a, Africa? it's some kind of island somewhere where they do the. Elephant rides, I think. Oh my, I think I was to find it. Probably like the Bahamas or something like that. But yeah, what about Boom. you? What's what's something on your bucket my list? My bucket list? I don't think we should talk about the one day air. But one of the top things Bill I want to do before I'm 30, I want to go shake my ass on the pole. Oh, you want to dance? You know, you just, wanna, to, just for the experience. Just like an amateur night type thing? Yeah. Oh, I finna say you're going to start a whole new career. No. <laughs> no. My daddy raised me right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to show my mama made a hoe. Oh, wow. I'm not really a hoe. Oh, my God. I came out so wrong. Okay. Uh, Put mama listen to that part. <laughs> <laughs> no, she going to hear it. She going to hear everything. But, all uh, right. Uh, what do men name? hear when they say, I'm about to go out and do some thought shit? From, is, is she my girlfriend? It, it, it's from a female in general, like. Like I mean, I'll be calling you up like, man, I'm going to do some thought shit. I mean, what what goes just, through your mind when I say that? If it's just my home girl, then it's like, all right, go, like, have fun. You think like, I'm going to have fun? You think I'm going to go pop some pussy? Like, which, which both. Nigga? I mean, two things could be true. I know it involves, I know it's going to involve your ass, some music, <laughs> and probably some niggas. When I say I'm going to go thought shit. I'm gonna go have some bomb ass fun with my girls, and afterwards I'm gonna really do some thought shit. Okay, like I said, two things can be true. Like, oh no, it's gonna be all one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me be lit. Oh, I've seen. Honey, I've Shut seen up, and Alex. heard. I ain't gonna say nothing. Shut up. That is to go down to your grave. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. We're not gonna have a D's drunk moment on air. What can get a female automatically blocked? Like, no, no, what the fuck you just say, shit? Like, just psh, block, delete. Oh, well, I don't just reply at all? Yeah, just, sh- bitch, fuck you, block. Shit. Um, ask me for some money. If we ain't cool like that. Damn. Yeah. Like, if you ain't already. Do you tell bitches your career? Not all the time. Or I do. Because a lot of times when they hear a truck yeah. driver, it's like, woo, you're a truck uh, yeah. driver. I've, I've noticed that. So Bates. a whole lot of times, no, nah, I don't. I'd be like, I'm a delivery driver, but I don't necessarily say what. <laughs> so it's like, bitch, I could be delivering pizza. I could be delivering 
packages or anything else. But yeah, I just be like I'm a delivery driver. Or sometimes I just be like I'm a driver. And I'm guessing they be thinking like Uber or something like that. But yeah, I don't off the jump. No, uh, see, I, I be asking niggas questions. I'm like, so what kind of driver? No, see, I ain't, and I'm a I truck's never, daughter, so I'm gonna ask you what company you drive for because yeah. I want to know what kind of money you're making. Yeah, and I ain't usually never, I never I had nobody figure, ask me. I, I never, figure out what company they work for. Mm. I know how they getting paid. Oh, you, <laughs> like are they a truck driver? See, you did, yeah, because you know, because your daddy do it, so you different. But no, I ain't never had no female okay, ask I'm me. Figure, I'm gonna figure out is he getting paid by the mile? <laughs> <laughs> Or see a local driver <laughs> getting paid by the hour, but no, nah, I don't. Off the jump, no, I sh- I sugarcoat it. Or I get a I get to run around. You ever came across any lizards? Yeah, when I was driving over the road, yeah, this motherfucker came up and knocked on the doors like two, three o'clock in the morning. She was like, "Uh, you want a date?" <laughs> she said, "Yeah, that's what she said. You want a date tonight?" I was like, "No, nah, I'm fine, but you be safe." <laughs> Damn, you shut her down nice and easy. Yeah, because if you don't look, because them motherfuckers, they know how to fuck up your truck and shit. So they'll damn cut your airlines or something like that. Yeah, I done heard some, I done heard some crazy stories from. Would you ever touch a lizard? Like, nope. you decide to go over the nope. road? Nope. <laughs> nope. Half of them be busted anyway. It'd be some, it'd be, uh, my homeboy asked me this not too long ago. Had I ever seen some. Oh, you got to tell them what lizards are. Oh, uh, <laughs> a lizard. A <laughs> lizard is a. Nickname for Lot Lizard, which is like basically. Truck stop prostitute. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, my homeboy, he asked me that I had I ever seen one. I told him, yeah, and he was like, why I ain't knocking my home? I'm like, bro, you seen these bitches? <laughs> for, they, they, a, all of them are strung out. And time, then. I had to pee one time when I was on the road. I had to stop at a truck stop. Mm. And even though it said no cars, I was like, shh, I got to pee, my guy. <laughs> so I went to the truck stop, and these girls were looking at me like I was a fucking fresh piece of meat. And I was like, Oh no, baby girl! Mm-hmm. I want that. <laughs> I was in. Um, I remember one time I was in. Um, I want to say Nashville or Knoxville. I know I was in Tennessee, and this van pulled up, and it was a it was a dude driving. And uh, I think you the, told me that story. Yeah, the van pulled up, and then he stopped like in the middle of the parking lot, and then the sliding door opened, and these motherfuckers just jumped out and scattered across the parking lot. I was like, "Yo, this shit wild!" <laughs> but yeah, the motherfucker they was out there, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm not." Fucking with none of these bitches at all. I never seen a man prostitute. That'd be cool. Not that I would do anything with one, <laughs> but <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't pay him to no. come sling that thing at you. No. <laughs> now, one guy told me I treat him like a prostitute because mm. I, I was like, "Well, I'll cook if you come over." <laughs> like I that's only, what he told you. He said, "You treat me like a prostitute." No, like, he told you he would cook if you came over. No, I tell him that. Oh, I mean that's mm-hmm. fair exchange. That's paying him to dick them down, dick you down. Dick I mean, well, down, in that sense, then niggas do that all the time, as far as like dates and stuff. Oh, yeah, niggas, niggas be dumb. I hope none of my niggas are listening, but dumb. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I know some niggas who do some dumb shit. I'd be like, bro, you can't see what the fuck she got. Got you doing right now? I could say one thing: being a female, having guy friends like you and Tyreek, can't a nigga get shit past me? I'm like, nope. They already put me on game. Yeah, I nope. Put, I be trying to put all my homegirls <clears throat> on. Wrong. But some sometimes, a whole lot of times, they don't be listening. I mean, so, sometimes we don't listen. Sometimes we gotta learn for our own. Yeah, and then y'all come. Because I'm us, one of them crazy bitches. Y'all like, come to us complaining and shit. Be like, look, I tried to tell you what the nigga was gonna do, and you didn't want to listen to a nigga, so don't come to me complaining. Alex, if I gotta complain, you gonna listen to me complain. I mean, you'll be on the phone. I don't necessarily be listening though. You be doing that to me? <laughs> no, sometimes yeah. I ain't gonna lie, cause especially if I done told you, like if I done told you what no, this nigga Alex, was gonna do. My feelings. Look, if I done told you what this nigga's gonna do, and he do exactly that, like, which and then you trying about? to, I can't think off the top of my head. Slim. I don't know who Slim is. The one from that talk I called you about this morning. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But yeah, I do. Because I don't be trying to. I didn't already told you exactly what I told you was going to happen. I don't want to hear this shit. But yeah, I just be there sitting there on the phone like, mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. You ain't shit. I ain't going to talk to you about my problems no more. Yes, you are. That's no, a lot. Like, like, fuck you. We only talk about the podcast. Yeah, okay. We, co- we co parenting this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Co-parenting the 
the podcast. Okay, uh, you did you watch that uh, Maya Angelou Maya video? Maya Angelou, yes, I did watch Mrs. Angelou. Okay, for the um, for I the people like who don't know, I'm gonna play it real quick. Is that legal? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, we did it before. Oh, all right. And they didn't flag us or nothing, but uh, it was okay. a video of Maya Angelou at a some kind of conference. And as um, soon as I find it, I will play it for y'all. What? A, okay, here it is. Give you a question. Yeah, I wanted to ask Maya her views on interracial relationships. Oh, thank you. And first, I'm Miss Angelo. Miss Angelo. Yes, ma'am. I'm not Maya. I'm 62 years old. <laughs> I have lived so long and tried so hard that a young woman like you or any other has no, you have no license to come up to me and call me by my first name. That's first. That's first. Also because at the same time, I am your mother, I'm your auntie, I'm your teacher, I'm your professor. You see? Okay, so uh, that was it. So what I was seeing on uh, social media and everything was everybody was saying that Maya, Miss, I feel like I got to call it now, (laughs) Miss Maya Angelou. They was Angelo. It's Angelou. It's Angelou. Anyway, Miss Maya, she was, uh, they were saying that she was out of line and she, I guess, went off on the girl. She didn't have to do it like that. They were saying that she disrespected the little girl. Personally, I feel as though she wasn't respecting her elder. Yep, that's exactly how I feel too. You don't come to somebody, she a legend. Fuck that. That's a motherfucking living legend. Right. You don't go, well, she ain't living no more, but anyway, you don't go. Wait, to what? I don't think she's living. Is she still living? Uh, as far as I know, she might be living still. I don't remember. I was gonna say, don't be nah, I'm don't be doing that. that. But anyway, continue. That's somebody who got respect on that name. Put respect on it. It's like somebody who went to school for a doctor. You gonna call me doctor, whatever. Yep. You ain't gonna call me Mrs. Blah blah blah. No. Yeah, I, I feel the exact same way because it's like, and this was. Yeah, she died May 28, 2014. Oh damn. Salem. I North Kakalakin. I did not know that. Rest in peace. I, I swear I didn't know that. But yeah, she um what the fuck was I saying? She earned that respect. Yeah, she yeah, she definitely earned her respect. But uh, this was I think like twenty years ago or so. But you know another thing I could also say is that I'm sorry to bring the race into it, but she's white. Why people don't teach their kids to say Miss Wasn't? No, that girl was black. Let me see again. The she girl, like yeah, a white woman. No, it was a white woman standing beside her, but the girl who was talking to her was a black girl. Yes, yeah, so it was a black girl that was asking. Oh my the question. bad, my yeah. bad. All right, I'll take that back. But yeah, um, I don't see because it's. I grew up with the older people I grew up with. They would have did her way dirtier than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they had to cut her smooth as fuck out. My mother, she's not old. My mom was only like a 41, 42, whatever. But she still, she don't, my friends don't call her Ms. Sadiqa. They call her Ms. Rowe. Mrs. Mm. Rowe. Well, I mean. It's just respect, like, period. She should have had the respect for my Angela. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, either way, she could, she should have called her Miss something. I feel like even if she had called her Miss um, Maya, that would have been better. That like would more respectful. Yeah, because it's like. But at the same time, I don't know, because it's like with me, I never had to call my parents, um, like say "ma'am" and all that stuff. But they taught me to t- to say it to other people because I'm not as close to them as I am to my parents. See, my parents, we never had. My parents were from north, so yes, ma'am, no ma'am was not a thing in Jersey. Like mm-hmm. yes, mom, no mom. Mm-hmm. That's it. But when we came down here, you know, this is this is considered the South. I don't care what no one says. Virginia is the South. Mm-hmm. It was just like I got in trouble for not saying yes, ma'am, and I was like, I don't say it to my mama. Yeah, it was, and it threw me off. Cause I'm like, the fuck, lady, who do you think you are? I would, I never, like I said, I never had to say it to my parents or my grandparents, cause it was like already a, a known respect thing. But it was like, like I was saying, the outside uh, adults, I would, every, I, I would, but not all the time. Cause I remember one time, uh, me and my mom was going, I was trying to get in the job corps. And this lady was like, uh, I was talking to her or something, and she asked me a question. And the first time, I want to say, I said, I was like, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And then she, like, kept asking me questions as far as, like, why I wanted to join Job Corps or whatever. And I would answer. And then she would be like, ma'am. And I was like, 
I was kind of like shocked. I was just like, I've been saying it this whole time. Like I ain't saying nothing crazy to you. And she was just looking at me like, no, you supposed to say ma'am. And I looked at my mama and she was looking at me. I was like, we can go. And my mom was like, good. Because if you hadn't left about it, I would have cussed her out for you. Yeah. I, we wasn't raised to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Like, But Southern people do. Like, the dog guy, his mother did not like that. I didn't say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And I personally feel like I'm already raised. Yeah. I've never disrespected you. I never disrespected your home, your son, nothing. Don't try to re-raise me. And it's, it's I feel like y- you can show respect without the yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, or yes sir no mm-hmm. sir type thing because it's like i but i just don't understand what people are saying that she came off crazy to the little girl like she could have she was disrespectful she to the little crazy. girl i really don't think so because she i mean the way for me anyway how i took it she was just explaining to her like she you just, i know you might not know but like this is what older people think and because i am who i am and you give me that respect put so, that respect on my name right you're so much younger than me and it's like yeah you got to respect me like I, I've earned that, and I didn't come off disrespectful to you. So yeah, I earned that off, the, off rip. And even like me, like when my residents they're older, I don't call them by their names until they say it's okay. Yeah. Like Miss Owen, so and she'd be like, "Yo, just call me." Like, oh, now, okay, now that mm-hmm. you you've made it informal, then I could just say, "Hey, that's what I just do this." Yeah, but upon like you just meeting, yeah, yeah you just gotta, Miss whatever. That's mm-hmm. just how I was raised. My parents, like my parents' friends, we always called them Miss West whatever or Mister West whatever. Yeah, I did too, but it was never. I never. It used wasn't a, really forced. It was more so just. Yeah, I never. Yeah. I never used the last name though. I always. No, it was, it was first the first name. Yeah, okay, Miss yeah. Whatever, like yeah. Miss Kim or mm-hmm. whatever. But yeah, like as far as teaching, yeah, I mean that's just like a teacher or anything. You call them Miss or Mister whatever. Like I, that's why I don't understand. People was talking about she was disrespectful to the little girl. Like, nah, she was just trying to teach her something. Mm-hmm. It was a teaching lesson that was meant to be taught. Right, and like I it's said, she could have got it a whole lot worse. For real, she could have made her feel like an ant. Right. She just put them paws on her just a little bit. <laughs> put them paws on her. Had to put some paws on her. All right, is that all we had today? That's all we have. All twelve topics. Well, damn, you don't have to tell everybody our script. Sorry, <laughs> but we out this bitch. I'm DJ. You can hit me up on all social medias at K A Y Y B O O G G I E on everything. And I'm Alex. Bitch, put it out there. No. Good night. Mouth this bitch.